Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Inspiration365. I'm gonna be doing a makeup station decluttering today. Some of you guys might be thinking this is so irrelevant for me. The reason I'm doing this is because I believe decluttering is very, very important for mental well-being. I thought it'd be good for me to kind of put my decluttering where my mouth is and let go of some stuff. When we have a tidy space, a tidy room, a tidy work area, we have a much tidier mind. So first off, let me give you a quick tour of the workstation. Over here we have perfumes and vitamins. This is actually a lighter for my candle, which looks like a lipstick. And then over here I have my hair brushes and a bunch of lip and eye pencils in this jar. Got my slightly bigger brushes in that jar. Smaller brushes in that jar, yeah, you see the pattern here? And then I've got whatever's left over in here. I always use candle jars, so when the candle runs out, just get some hot water and some fairy liquid or some washing up liquid. And you've got a really nice kind of chic looking jar there to keep your things in. And over here we have other things like creams, sprays, things like that. Then we have the actual makeup. So in this drawer, I have eye products. So we've got a few things like small eyeshadow quads, just miscellaneous eye stuff. Then over here, this is all my face products. We've got foundations, got blush and highlight, got bronzer, concealers in there. Guys, I realize this might be a lot. It's just stuff that builds up over time and when you travel in, sometimes you forget things, you buy them again, or sometimes you buy things because you just fancy them. In the final drawer, this is lip products. That should be liquid lipsticks and glosses at the back, but it's, it's all kind of mixed up at the moment. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff there. It is like organized chaos. Some people might think it's even quite tidy. By the way, this is not dirty, this is just distressed. I bought this set off of Gumtree and painted it myself, as I did with the wardrobes in here as well. Painted the bed as well on the bedside table. Anyway, enough about me. Let's declutter. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do three piles. I'm going to put stuff in here for my nieces, and by my nieces I mean the kind of kids in my family who might enjoy things like glitter and all of that. Anything that's grubby or out of date or just naff is going to go in here. And then I'm going to make a pile just here of anything like brand new that I might want to give to you guys and, and put in a giveaway. Let's start with lips. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Who am I? I mean, to be fair to me, there are probably lipsticks in here from when I was about 14. By the way, this is all arranged in uh, like stuff that you get from the Chinese. Stuff that I'm keeping, I'll put in here and I'm gonna try and keep it to what this bag can hold. Oh. Right, Too Faced Sweet Peach, keep. Anastasia Beverly Hills, keep. Do I need this? Do I need it? Bin. Uh, I get quite a lot of compliments on this. It's like a 24 hour stay. To keep to throw, to keep to throw. Keep. Crown gloss, it's okay. It smells a little bit like a cat litter tray though, so bin it. Matt me, it's gotta stay. I like it. Mmm, it's quite nice. Keep. Animal cracker, philosophy. Uh, I don't know. I don't wanna give it away for no reason. I'll give it to my niece. Oh, look at that. What has even happened to that? This is one of those lipsticks off the internet. It's got a flower in it and it changes colour. Oh, I think that needs to go in the bin. Keep in. Just in case anyone thinks I'm being wasteful, I guess in a way it's quite wasteful to own this stuff, but it's not wasteful to throw it out if it's out of date. Things turn, you know? Oh, these were like out of a little cracker or something. They can go to my nieces. That's literally brand new. I think I'll put that in a giveaway for you guys. Okay, we're making headway. I've gotten rid of the glosses. I keep everything that people give me. This has probably been given to me by like a 10 year old girl at an event and yeah, I'm still gonna keep that. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is a little lip gloss. I'm gonna give that to my nieces. It's taken me eight minutes to do this. This is gonna be the longest video in history. It smells like crayons. I've had this since I was about 14. I think I stole it from my sister. Oh, it's got sentimental value. No. That's what decluttering is all about. When something that's just old and gross has sentimental value, you need to rethink it. Does anybody just find all of their hair grips when they do something like this? Okay, so I've narrowed my collection down to pretty much this bag of things, so I'm gonna put those back. At least having you guys here is forcing me to make decisions. Otherwise, I'd probably just sit and look at this one drawer all night. That is much, much better. Have some stuff for my nieces in there. Look, 
plenty of stuff in there as well. Moving on to the face drawer. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff. I'm just gonna race through this as quickly as I can so that this is not so boring for you. Here are my concealers. I don't really use many of them, to be honest. That one is empty. That one is empty. This one is just not really my color, so I'll give it to my nieces. The MAC Pro Longwear is Holy Grail. I bought that on an airplane. It's rubbish blush a lot of these i do actually use you might be thinking how do i use all these different outfits require different colors different looks i'm going off the rationale of if i use it i'm gonna keep it does anybody else just buy these things sometimes and then just totally forget they own them i've never ever used these in my life well, that was easier than i thought it was gonna be you know what i think it's time to do a close-up time lapse <laughs> Okay, so we're nearly there. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, guys. It might not look like it, but I, I really have. Onto the final drawer. Eyes, liners, single eyeshadows. I also have eyeshadow palettes as well in another area of the room. Let's downsize. So for starters, you are supposed to change your mascaras regularly anyway, and I don't. It's not good because you get eye infections and stuff. A lot of these just need to go in the bin, I'm afraid. A lot of these I use on tour, so I am going to be keeping quite a lot of this stuff. Empty. Okay guys, I've got to the bottom of the drawer. I'm sure there's like a more sensible way of doing this than using old Tupperware. But, you know, it's a good use of plastic really that's been left behind. Okay, that's it, whittled down to things that I use regularly and will be using when I go out on the road and everything else has ended up in here. So lastly, I'm gonna just quickly toss any of these brushes that shouldn't be in here anymore. I wash my brushes regularly, so I'm not being wasteful in that sense, but yeah, it's time to do a cull. So these are the spoils of the clear out. So I've thrown a lot of stuff away. I'll be giving all of this away to my nieces. I can't give you guys this stuff because it has been either tested or opened. But I did find this unopened Dove gift set, an unopened nail varnish trio, some unworn earrings, a selfie clip, some glow in the dark stars, some brand new unopened NYX glitter, and a few other bits and pieces in there. So if you guys want to get your hands on that just hit like and subscribe i'll also throw a cd in there so guys i really hope you enjoyed that little video i've no idea what that's all going to look like pieced together it might be really boring i'm sorry if it is but i just wanted to kind of bring home the message today that clearing out is good for the well-being it's good to give things away that feels good and it's also good to throw things away you don't need anymore also it just helps you have more space and also you know things are where they should be things are organized it's all very neat and tidy. That's all for today's Inspiration365. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you wanna win the little goodie bag. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Over and out. This is gonna be, oh, anything that's grubby or out of date or just naff is gonna go in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Figure out how to zoom. Oh, this is gonna be quite hard. Okay.